We have found five pieces of prehistoric wood that have been preserved through being waterlogged. And the wood represents the earliest evidence of humans using trees as a source material, the earliest evidence of what I call a structure. Wood is extremely rare in the archaeological record. It's, it's a material that doesn't survive normally. It decays quite quickly, so it takes extraordinary conditions to be preserved. What we are seeing at Colombo Falls is a technology that people use and come to it rather than carry it around. These things are too big, they're too heavy. So it challenges our understanding of early humans. It's what I call a, a disruptive discovery. We should rethink how we classify the past and maybe think uh, more of it as a, a wood age because wood would have been widely available throughout human evolution. We think this wood has survived because the sediments we find it in have been waterlogged for this entire period of time. And also the sediments they're buried in are relatively, uh, they contain some fine grained sediments. And that too, we think has helped to preserve them over this extraordinary period of time, a half a million years. The working hypothesis is that we're looking at the, the remnants of a framework or a foundation for a structure which was elevated above marshy ground for people to, uh, to live on, perhaps, and all work on. We've had to use a different method here, and it's one called luminescence dating. And this dates the sediments that the wood has been buried by. And those sediment grains, those grains of sand, contain minerals that can store energy within them. And it comes out in the form of light. By combining those measurements together, we can calculate the age uh, of the, the material. And that's where we get this age of 476,000 years. It's really important that this site is properly managed and, and preserved. It, it's of international significance and it, it's vital that, that it's, it's studied uh, it, it correctly in the future and so that more discoveries can be made there um, for everyone's benefit. And it's of Im immense importance to Zambia culturally as well.